Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here, and today I want to talk to you about leadership and what makes you a good leader. So I get this question all the time from people that are managers or leaders or people that run a team, and they say, my team just doesn't want to do anything. My team this, my team that, no one's doing anything, and I feel like I'm doing all the work. My question to you is, what work are you doing? Are you doing the work to push them, right, to say, okay, I'm going to push you along and help you, or are you doing the work to really pull them and say, you have to do this? Here's the thing about motivation. The speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. I'm going to say that again. The speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. So if you're spending all of your time trying to pull your team along and you're not concentrating at all on your own business, your team is not going to know how to succeed. They're just going to see you pulling, 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 but they're not going to see really what you're doing as a leader. And they're going to think to themselves, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to be successful because all my leader is doing is saying do X, Y, Z and pulling me to do that. But they're not actually doing it themselves. And I want to know what they're doing to be successful so that I can follow them. I don't just want to hear it. You know, I want to I see it. I want to visualize it, right? Actions speak louder than words. And so if you as a leader are spending your time pulling people along and telling people what to do, you're wasting your time. Even me, I'm an elite five-star um, Beachbody coach, and I don't know what that means in other companies, but in Beachbody, it's the top 0.01% of the company. I spend 90 to 95% of my time on my own business, okay? And then other five to 10% is spent helping my coaches, like one-on-one -on -one helping them. And the reason is because if I don't spend that time working on my business and I'm just spending all of my time pulling my team along, they're not going to know what to do. They're just going to be like, okay, she's just pulling me in this direction. I don't really know what to do. I'm just going to go along with it. But they're not going to see success. Where they're going to see success is if you lead by example and you show them what they need to do to be successful instead of tell them. So you might think it's selfish, like, okay, I don't really want to spend 90% of you know, my time growing my business. I want to help my team. That is the best way you can help your team, by growing your own business. And I know that sounds weird, and a lot of people are going to say, I don't know about that. I really think that I should be helping them more, and that I shouldn't be you know, concentrating on myself. I'm telling you, the most successful leaders are those that lead by example and those that concentrate on themselves and show the path to success instead of like um, I would say tell right show versus tell this is how you do it you must do this now versus I'm gonna show you how I created this amazing future of financial freedom so I hope this was helpful for you um, I hope that you to kind of take a step back in your business and say to yourself am I really showing my team how to succeed? Am I showing them every single day how to succeed? Am I hitting my goals? And better off, better yet, am I hitting the goals I put forth for my team, right? Because if you're putting forth all these huge goals for your team and you're not hitting them, they're not going to hit them, guaranteed. Now, I'm not saying no one's going to do anything, right? Because some people are self-motivated and they just get it and they run and they know what to do but some people need to be shown. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you start or continue to show your team how to build their business, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Feel free to share this out. Thanks, bye.